So if we want to go ahead and save some images, let's just unfreeze, get an image up on screen. We'll freeze, and now you can scroll back through that image, hit acquire, it saves an image, and you have your thumbnail up there. Now if I want to save a loop, there are two different ways to save that. One is let's just unfreeze that image, get it, and then I, I can hit acquire, and it's going to save a loop based on how long I've got it set up there. So if you can hear the beeps, I'm hitting acquire. It's now saving three seconds and then putting it up there. I'll go ahead and freeze that image. The other way to save a loop, so let's unfreeze the image. And we can hit the freeze key. Now there's a menu down here that has up, down, invert, x res, replay. You might not be seeing that page. You might have to hit this next key because you might just get this compare, gray map, and chroma on there. We'll show you compare in just a moment. But let's hit this, and I can hit the replay on, and then hit acquire, and it's going to save that loop that I just saw. You can edit your start position here. By moving it here, you get your start and end position. If you only want to save a portion of the loop, you'll see it's just playing that. And now that's only going to acquire that small portion of the loop. It saves hard drive space and also makes it very clear what it is that you're trying to see. Now let's take a quick look at how to pull those images back up. I can hit the pointer key and I can double click on a single one and it's going to show up. Now if I select another one, it's going to give me side by side on those images. Then I can deselect that and it's going to give me that single image. So you can compare multiple images there. And this one of 113, what you saw there, that was how many frames you have. You have synchronization if you have your ECG attached. Let's hit 2D and get out of that real quick. And let's choose something called compare. That's on the second page. So if I hit compare on, it's going to give me that. And now I have a live image on the right hand side and I can compare those images obviously for cardiac that would be more applicable or maybe a color Doppler on here for 2D that and the image I have is, is pretty awful for this but you get just the general idea of what you want to do to get out of there I'm just gonna hit the 2D key again now there is one more way to scroll through those images I'm gonna go back to my pointer and I'm going to left double click on one of them and now it says page one of six. Again, you may not see this, but you have page one of six. This is actually image one of six. Now it's highlighting the second, the third, the fourth, five, and six. So that's actually an easier way to scroll through the images rather than dealing with this pointer. So when I use my pointer, come over here and click. If I click on this one, if I double click quickly on the second one, it's going to pull it up. But if I just left click and do it slowly, it's going to select both those images and put them side by side instead of just allowing me to select one at a time. And one last item on taking a look at those images. We will get to this in the review, but I, it's worth repeating. If I double click on this, one thing about the CX-50 that is quite cool is the post-processing is pretty amazing. You can even change the gain on something that you've already taken as well as dynamic range. You can change your TGCs, the LGCs, and other such items. You can even turn off X-Res to see what it looked like before and after. So it's uh, something worth noting when you're reviewing images later that you can do quite a bit of post-processing that you can't do on other machines. It's one of the things that makes this more advanced.